Hello everyone, let's solve a problem using a very common programming pattern. So in this problem, we are given an input array and we have to generate an output array of equal length where for each index, we look for all the indices with the same value and then we try to find the distance of each of them from our current index and the sum of these distances will be the output for that index. For example, the value at index 0 which is 1 occurs at index 2 and index 3. The distance of these two from index 0 is 2 and 3 respectively and the sum of these distances will be 5. So the result at index 0 will be 5. And now when we look at the next index, we see that the value 3 does not occur anywhere else. And since we cannot measure the distance in this case, the result will be 0 for this index. Similarly for the next index, we see that it is repeated both at index 0 and index 3. Its distances are 2 and 1, so we'll take the sum of these two and that will be the result. Similarly for the next index, it is repeated at two places and the sum of the distances will be 4. And finally for the last index, we see that it is not repeated anywhere, so its result will be 0. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's try to find some properties of the problem using a big example. Let's suppose we have to find the result for index 5 where the value is 1. In this case, we can see that the value 1 is repeated both on the left and the right side. Hence, we have to calculate the sum of the distances on both the sides and then add them. For the left side, this will be the difference of the indices and hence the distance. Similarly, these would be the sum of the distances for the left and the right side. But there's one important observation that we can make over here is that there are two elements on the left who have a value of 1. And since 5 will be greater than all the indices on the left, to calculate the sum of the distance, we add 5 two times. Similarly, for the subtraction part, we have to subtract each and every index which occurs on the left. Hence this part will be the sum of the indices with the shared value on the left. Hence we could generalize the sum of the distances from the left side as. For the positive part, we'll find the number of elements to the left side which have the same value and then multiply it with our current index. Hence this part will be 2 times 5. And the negative part will be the sum of all the indices to the left which have the same value. The two indices are 0 and 3, hence this will be 3. Hence the sum of the distances from the left side will be 7. Similarly, when we look at the right side, we see that there are two elements to the right. And on the right side, 5 will be lower than all the indices. Hence we'll subtract 5 from each occurrence. That's why we are subtracting 5 two times. And for the positive part, we'll take the index of each element. Hence, this will be the sum of all the indices to the right which have the same value. Hence, we can generalize this as the sum of the distances from the right side will be the sum of all the indices to the right which have the same value. And then we have to subtract the number of such elements multiplied by our current index. For example, these two indices have the same value as our current index. Hence, we'll take the sum of these two indices. And since we have two such indices, we'll multiply 2 by 5 and then subtract it. Hence, the sum of distances from the right will be 5. The question now arises, how do we track these values to compute the result? For the left sum, since we have to keep track of the number of occurrences of the same value to the left, we can keep a hash map for that. Here the key will be the value at the index and the value stored corresponding to it will be the count of similar occurrences. Since we also need the sum of the indices on the left for a particular value, we'll keep another hash map which stores the sum of the indices for a particular value. This will be very similar to a prefix sum. And similarly for the right sum, we'll adopt the same technique but instead of going from left to right, we'll make another traversal from right to left. The time complexity of this would be O of n because we are making two traversals, once from the left and once from the right. 
and the space complexity would be O of n because we'll be needing a hash map to store the count of similar occurrences and the sum of the indices for a particular value. Let's implement our solution. Let's first define our result array initialized to 0. We'll first traverse from left to right. So we'll keep a hash map to track the sum of the indices for each value. And we'll also need another hash map to count the occurrence of each value. We'll now traverse from left to right. We'll need both the value and the index so we'll use the enumerate function. For calculating the sum of the left distances, we have to add the number of times that value has occurred multiplied by our current index. We also have to subtract the sum of all the indices which have the same value. And after we are done calculating the result, we'll increment the count of this value by 1. And we also have to add this index to the sum for our current value. We are now done with the left traversal and hence we'll begin our right traversal. In this case also we'll need a hash map to store the sum of the indices for a value. And similarly we'll also need to count the occurrence of each value. We'll now write a for loop where we traverse right to left. So we'll reverse this list and then enumerate over it. This will give us both the value and the index. For the right side we have to add the sum of all the indices for our current value and we have to subtract the count of similar values multiplied by our current index. And finally we'll increment the count of this value by 1 and we'll also increment the sum of the indices for this value by our current index. We are now done with our right to left reversal and we can return our answer. We are now done with our solution. If you have any doubts or feedbacks regarding this solution, please mention in the comments. I always make sure to answer each of them. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thanks for watching.